What is up guys, Rick Hackus here, and this is MLG Pro covering the AWS light machine gun in Battlefield 4. So I have taken an extremely long break from this game, and I'm sure all my subscribers want to know what's going on in kind of the state of me and Battlefield 4. That's going to be at the end of the video, because if you're not a subscriber, you probably don't give a damn, and you just want to get into the AWS. So, MLG Pro is kind of a series going over the most popular weapons in the game, why they're popular, and some tips to let you do even better with these already good guns. So let's get right into it. The AWS... It's popular, it is by far one of, if not the, arguably the best light machine gun in the game right now. And the reason why is because it's not a light machine gun. And you may be saying, wait a minute, that doesn't make any sense, it totally is a light machine gun. It really isn't. The AWS is not a light machine gun, it is an assault rifle with a hundred rounds magazine. That's basically what it is, and that's why it's so good. Now, MLG Pro, I don't really like getting into the like massive, really hardcore stats in this, but I really do want to just get into the recoil stats to compare it to the M249, just so you can see like why this gun is so good. So, the recoil of the AWS is 0.3 up, 0.3 right, and 0.25 left. Okay, now let's compare it with the M249. The M249 does basically the same damage, um, has 800 rounds per minute, where the AWS has 780. Now, the M249 does have double the magazine size, 200, but let's also remember that the AWS, and another reason why it's so good, has 100 rounds in the magazine, which is nothing to laugh at, 100 rounds is plenty. And it has a, not a chain fed magazine, uh, sorry, the, like a belt fed magazine, it has a detachable uh, double drum magazine. So it reloads pretty quickly, it really reloads at 3.5 seconds, whereas the M249 reloads at 6.2, and that's the fastest reload possible. So it's basically like half the reload time. So double the magazine, half the reload time, it equalizes there. But again, let's go over the M249's recoil. The M249's recoil, is 0 0.3 right, 0 0.25, uh, 0.325 up, and 0 0.45 left. So you have a little bit higher upwards recoil, the same rightwards recoil, and basically like double the leftwards recoil. So, like, it just doesn't, it kind of blows my mind that this is, the DICE thought this was going to be like a balanced thing, because you have really essentially the same gun. The M249 shoots a little bit faster, you know, um, but other than that, really doesn't have any massive advantage over the AWS. But why would you really use the M249 when you could use a gun with straight up less recoil all around, except for tied for the rightwards recoil, and then basically like half of the leftwards recoil. That's a huge, huge cutoff. Like, it's way, way easier to control the AWS than the M249. J just all around way easier. So there's really, like, you're not really getting a substantial advantage from using the M249, and that's why the AWS, you know, for a DLC weapon, it's really jumped in popularity. Tons of people are using the AWS um, when they're playing support because it's just such a phenomenal gun. It's so easy to control. Again, it really is like an assault rifle with a hundred rounds magazine. Now the AWS some tips with it, it does you know have the same LMG style bad, not bad, but not great aim down sights accuracy. In case you don't know, when you aim down sights with a gun in Battlefield, it does not get pinpoint accurate. Call of Duty, and I'm not really not trying to diss on Call of Duty, it's just a really good comparison, when you shoot a gun in Call of Duty, it is a laser beam. It instantly goes out where you're aiming, straight exactly where you're aiming, and goes through the other side of the map at the ex like instantaneously. Now, in Battlefield, when you aim down sights, you actually have a small hip fire box, essentially. Imagine your hip fire radius uh, just getting smaller and smaller and never actually touching. You have a little area, a little circle, when you're aiming down your sights that your bullets can go within. That's why when you're shooting people with light machine guns, it's very noticeable. When you're shooting people with light machine guns fully automatic, sometimes you're just seeing the bullets go around them because this little circle, you know, the bullets never go exactly where you're aiming, they go somewhere within this little circle. And the aim down sights accuracy of the AWS is 0 0.3. And that's kind of very common with most of the light machine guns. Assault rifles are 0 0.2, so that tells you that it's 
you know, you should probably experience in game even if you haven't known the exact like statistical reason why, it's much easier to just stand there, aim at a guy and go fully automatic and kill him at medium range with an assault rifle than it is with the light machine gun. That's simply because the bullets with the light machine gun when you're aiming down sights have a bigger radius to go to, so they end up going around people more often. This is the same, the AWS has an down size accuracy of 0.3, so you really aren't going to want to be going massively fully automatic with AWS. This is, now you can, and it performs extremely well, it's extremely easy to control, and that's why a lot of people are doing it, but if you want to get the edge with the AWS, you actually want to kind of limit yourself to burst fire. This is going to, uh, not like, I'm not talking like three round bursts, just shoot five to ten rounds, then stop. Don't keep shooting an enemy. You really want to kind of stop and reacquire that target and restart shooting, because stopping and then shooting again is going to, your your sight when you aim down sights, it does bloom, just like in hip fire when you start shooting and your uh, reticle, your radius, your hip fire radius gets bigger and bigger and bigger. The same thing happens when you're aiming down sights, you just can't see it. So stopping and restarting shooting is gonna let that bloom settle and you're going to be able to be substantially more accurate than someone with, let's say, another AWS that just starts shooting when he sees you and never stops shooting. So you definitely want to like, you can use this gun fully automatic and in, in close range, I mean, definitely spray and pray. But when you're getting into the little bit more, you know, medium to long range, you definitely want to start burst firing like you would kind of an assault rifle. You'll see the really good advanced players doing this all the time. Just because you can go fully automatic doesn't mean you should all the time with the AWS. Aside from that, the usability and the recall rate of fire of this gun just makes it so easy to use, there really isn't too many tips to go with this gun. It's very good with like all attachments. Now I would kind of don't use the very long range optics. This isn't necessarily a long range gun. Don't try to extend it to potentials that it shouldn't really be reaching that other guns like the M240B are just better for. You definitely want to stick with, you know, a holographic sight or a Cobra sight or something like that. You don't need to go insane with, you know, a flare sight or a ICOG sight. That's just unnecessary. Stick with a very basic like red dot sight. Throw on a lot of barrel attachments are good. I would not Put on a compensator or a muzzle brake. Now the reason being is because both of those gun, uh, both of, the, of those attachments, sorry, they hurt your aim down sight's accuracy. Now that I was just talking about. So they're going to make the bloom when you aim down your reticle even worse. So you definitely don't want to do that. Stick with a normal barrel. A flash hider is fine because there's no downside other than it just hiding the flash, making it harder than you uh, for you uh, people to find you. And a silencer is totally acceptable with this gun as well. Works very well with the silencer if you're using it with uh, in medium range and you you don't really need to worry about the bullet velocity. Other than that, pretty much any, any other attachments, if you want to put a laser sight on, go ahead, flashlight, I mean, go ahead. It's very, very customizable. This gun is good with a lot of different attachments. So that is it for the AWS guide. So if you aren't interested in the reason I've been, you know, taking a break from Battlefield, you can go ahead and click out of the video now. But kind of just an explanation, you know, the whole Battlefield thing, I just kind of really needed a break from Battlefield. You know, I, I was really like, I got that game, came out no with November, and that was really the only game that I was interested in and the only game I was playing for November, December, January, February and then March was kind of I think the, uh, the, the, the time I stopped playing and just you know four months of the same game basically every day and then making videos for you guys is just too much and you just you know when you play a game that much it just stuff starts to annoy you it's like oh I got killed <laughs> with the AK5C with a silencer for the billionth time and it didn't help that I was making videos telling everyone to use the AK5C with a silencer so that probably wasn't the best idea um, but yeah it just I really just needed a break from this game and it was also extremely like as a youtuber it's extremely disheartening when you know a new DLC comes out and you know all the people I play on the Xbox one and I'm the one of the only people that uh, people that do it and, you know, it does give me, you know, kind of an advantage and kind of a unique perspective because it certain things, a console, it is way harder to control recoil on a console than a PC. Pretty much everyone know that knows that. Even if you're like a PC master race kind of guy, I'm really not dissing on the P, uh, PC people, but everyone knows that it's easier to control recoil with a mouse. It just simply is. So on console, you kind of have a different, like, value scale of how, what guns are good. Um, 
you know like you kind of value the guns with less recoil more they're way easier to control and you just kind of like a console player may have a different favorite gun than a pc player now the disappointing thing is you know when a new dlc would come out and i would love to do dlc guy gun guides and stuff and i would do that all the time but it started to be like the new dlc would come out and the pc players would get the guns like a week earlier and like again i believe i can offer a unique perspective but like how much can really be said about a certain gun like so naval strike came out and level cap and jack frags and Matimio and everyone who's anyone on youtube which is like like there's so many battlefield youtubers all made guides on the arx and it's really like what more is there for me to say it's just kind of disheartening that it's like oh great all the pc play players sorry have a massive advantage and there's already a thousand videos out on the arx it's like what's the point of me making a video and it just was really, again, disheartening, and it kind of just made me... It was just more, what's the point? What's the point of making a Battlefield video when I can't really contribute anything to the Battlefield community? And uh, that was, again, just coupled with I really did need a break from this game. So I'm kind of back, back playing Battlefield, really having fun. The Destiny beta is coming out basically in two days uh, since when I'm making this video. So that's gonna, I'm going to definitely get into that. There's going to be some games I'm getting into, but for the summer, I'm definitely going to get re into battlefield i want to continue continue the mlg pro series definitely do want to also continue custom class for you know you guys come up with classes and i do that and yes i know level cap did at first but i there was other people like custom like making uh, your fan created classes was all the way back to cod 4 so let's not pretend like level cap was the original guy to do it so tons of people have been doing it and it's just a really fun series that i do enjoy doing so definitely going to be doing that and if i have other ideas i'm going to be executing them but i am back into battlefield so if you are a battlefield fan you've probably been like what the fuck rick Kakas? i subscribed to you battlefield you haven't doing been doing battlefield for like two three months so finally we can continue with the battlefield videos i hope you guys enjoyed this video and enjoy the videos that are coming soon and uh remember to rate comment and subscribe and as always have a good day